the story so far. Agent 47 and his handler, Diana Burnwood, are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. When all of their recent missions turn out to be contracts for a shadow client, things take an unexpected turn. All their targets have been operatives in an invisible organization known as Providence. Providence has infiltrated the highest echelons of power and secretly owns our world. The Shadow Client wages a silent war against them. And so the Constant, Providence's enigmatic controller, seeks Diana out. His request, track down and eliminate the Shadow Client. In return, he offers something irresistible. The truth of 47's lost origins. Neither know that the man they hunt is 47's childhood friend. And unlike 47, he remembers everything. is just up the beach. Our intel indicates that she and her team are laying low, most likely planning the militia's next strike. Reynard is one of the Shadow Client's top lieutenants, and yet she's not a target. Not yet, anyway. She's no doubt high on our client's list, but for now, it's information we seek. Infiltrate the house and get us a lead on the Shadow Client. Up for some B&E, 47. On my way. Good aim. Now, according to the local home security provider, the house is equipped with multiple cameras placed around the perimeter. I suggest you get rid of them, 47. see them. Oh, poor bastards. Looks like Reynard's grisly handiwork all right. She was never shy about collateral damage. The owners? Don't think so. 
The house is registered to a non-existing environmental NGO. This feels more like identity theft. Like you, Reynard is known to use disguises. Hmm. Keep looking, 47. Nothing we can do for these people now. found something. Looks like research reports. Berlin, Shanghai. Every major malicious strike since Thomas Cross's kidnapping. Looks like Reynard had a hand in all of them. All in the past, I'm afraid. Keep looking, 47. Found something. A file on Rupert Pierce, founder of Dynasty Global. The world's largest internet retailer. Hmm. If Pierce is a Providence operative, he's likely on the Shadow Client's hit list. But it's not what we came for. Keep looking, 47. Computer. See if you can't access it. Encrypted. Hmm. Assuming there's a key, Reynard wouldn't just leave it lying around. Wait. According to the floor plan, the room you're in should be a lot bigger. There might be a concealed space behind the wall. Check for hidden panels, 47. Ah, thought so. This should be interesting. Here we go. For the office computer, no doubt. Nicely done, 47. Should allow you to move more freely. Hmm. Appears Reynard's cell is launching another strike. Those are sewer maps of a residential area in Wellington. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Our priority is the Shadow Client.
I'm in. Hurry. I'm detecting movement up the road. A motorcade, possibly Reynard's. Uploading the data. Hold on. Receiving it now. Hmm. Nothing on the Shadow Client or the other cells. No names, no aliases. I doubt she even knows whom she's working for. Wait, here's something. A message from Robert Knox of Kronstadt Industries. And by the sound of it, he's a Providence operative. A defector. Well, well, well. Client won't like this one bit. And you can't wait to tell him. They're back. Multiple hostiles. I see them. Damn. Okay, we've got all we're going to get. Go to stage 247. Eliminate Reynard, and preferably without raising suspicion. One step ahead of the Shadow Client for once. Let's keep it that way. Ugh, I thought this night would never end. What a snob fest. And I even missed out on the action. <sighs> I'm sorry you had to endure all that free champagne and cello music, Orson. What can I say? You really took one for the yeah, team. well, I say stick to what you know. Terms. Not very convincing, Mr. Donovan. Take a deep breath and try again. Much better. Now, you will take the stairs up to the rooftop helipad where your boss, Robert Pierce, is taking his morning jog. You will inform his guards that you are delivering an urgent message. You will approach Mr. Pierce, lure him close to the edge, and toss him off the building. Hey. You want green tea or mango? 
What do you think? You heard me, Mr. Donovan. The life of your boss for the life of your wife and daughters. Shouldn't be much of a choice, even for a workaholic. Do you understand me? Very good. Now, go. If I don't hear sirens from downtown London in five minutes, your family suffers the consequences. Best of luck, Mr. Donovan. We thank you for your sacrifice. Is it done? Good as. And Mr. Donovan's wife and children? The guys will let them go at the stroke of midnight, unless I say otherwise. Boss's orders. You know how squeamy she gets about collateral damage. I'm it. Guests of the PM, the wife and two daughters of one dad, Donovan. The online retailer? Uh huh. Donovan is back in London working. He should receive the pictures as we speak. Ah, blackmail. Donovan's boss, Dynasty CEO Rupert Beers, is a top Providence operative. But we can't get near him, so I decided to, well, do a bit of outsourcing. What do you think?
loud and clear. I need back. God, no! He ripped open the body! Target down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. guests of the PM, the wife and two daughters of one Lance Donovan, the VP of Dynasty Global. The online retailer? Uh-huh. Donovan is back in London, working. He should receive the pictures as we speak. Ah, uh, blackmail. Donovan's boss, Dynasty CEO Rupert Pierce, is a top Providence operative. But we can't get near him, so I decided to, well, do a bit of outsourcing. Oh, could you fix me a cup of tea? Sure thing. You want sugar? Honey? Um, honey. No problema. What do you think? You heard me, Mr. Donovan. The life of your boss for the life of your wife and daughters. Shouldn't be much of a choice, even for a workaholic. Do you understand me? Very good. Now, go. If I don't hear sirens from downtown London in five minutes, your family suffers the consequences. Best of luck, Mr. Donovan. We thank you for your service.
get off the property. Target down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. Welcome home, Alma and Seen it disturbed yet? Good. I will tell you exactly what to do. Do it quickly and without question and unharmed. Refuse or hesitate, and your family dies. Attempt to signal or warn anybody, and your family dies. Do we have terms? Mm, not very convincing, Mr. Donovan. Take a deep breath and try again. Much better. Now, you will take the stairs up to the rooftop helipad where your boss, Rupert Pierce, is taking his morning jog. You will inform his guards that you are delivering an urgent message. You will approach Mr. Pierce, lure him close to the edge, and toss him off the building. Hey, you want green tea or mango? What do you think? You heard me, Mr. Donovan. The life of your boss for the life of your wife and daughters. Shouldn't be much of a choice, even for a workaholic. Do you understand me? Very good. Now, go. If I don't hear sirens from downtown London in five minutes, your family suffers the consequences. 
Best of luck, Mr. Donovan. We thank you for your sacrifice. The guys will let them go at the stroke of midnight, unless I say otherwise. Boss's orders. You know how squeamish he gets about collateral damage. I'm gonna turn in. You coming or what? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I'm staying here too, you know. The least you could do is teach him my name. Or maybe you don't expect to keep me around long enough to bother, is that it? I, uh, didn't know it was that important to you, Orson. What can I say? My bad. I've been using the safe house for years. Right, you and Sean. Bet the house knew his name. Okay, I guess I could change it into... Welcome, Alma and Sean, too. <laughs> How's that? Mm, fuck me. Or maybe second Sean. That has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Or Sean Light. <laughs> you know what, I'll think of some more while I go and brush my teeth. Fine. I'm gonna hit the shower. You do that, Orson. teach it my name. Or maybe you don't expect to keep me around long enough to bother, is that it? I, uh, didn't know it was that important to you, Orson. What can I say? My bad. I've been using the safe house for years. Right. You and Sean. Bet the house knew his name. Okay, I guess I could change it into... Welcome, Alma and Sean, too. <laughs> How's that? Mm, fuck me. Or maybe second Sean. That has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Or Sean Light. <laughs> you know what, I'll think of some more. While I go brush my teeth. Fine. I'm gonna hit the shower. You do that, Orson. One on 
shipping out again? Say what? I said, when are you shipping out again? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm supposed to rendezvous with the team in Riga for like five days from now. I've got no idea what the mission is or who my teammates are. Like, all this secrecy is starting to get on my nerves. You know the boss. Belt and suspenders kind of guy. Well, I don't. And neither do you. That's kind of my, uh, that's kind of my point. Call me old-fashioned, but like I say, uh, I like to know who I'm risking my life for. You know why? The rest are details. It's easy for you to say. At least you're in the loop. I take orders just like you. In fact, the boss deliberately keeps me out of the loop. I don't even know who the other cells are. Compartmentalization is key. Yeah, I guess. But that's Sean. allegedly plummeted to his death from the headquarters of Dynasty Global, the world's largest internet retailer. While the identity is unconfirmed, several eyewitness tweets claim that the deceased is none other than Rupert Pierce, Dynasty's founder and CEO. We will keep you updated as this story develops. I am Pam Kingsley, GNN News. Well, that's that. Smoke on the balcony? Yeah, sure. sure. How about a scotch? No, I just brushed my teeth. Ah, oh, well, suit yourself. I'm having one before bed then. Good for the blood flow. That reminds me. I need you to do something for me. Okay. What's the gig? It's a cakewalk, really. I just need you and the boys to pick up a shipment in Brussels three days from now. A truckload of cutting-edge Kronstadt Industries military hardware. Drones and shit. You'll get a kick out of it, I promise. Well, shit, the Noxes really are defecting. High-level Providence stooges like them? That's a real feather in your cap. So why aren't you the one doing the honors? See, there's just a teensy possibility that it could be a trap. And if it is, well, I'm too important to risk. Wow. Don't start. No, no, I get it. Everyone's expendable, but some are more expendable than others. Is that it? I wouldn't put it on a t-shirt, but, well, yeah. In a nutshell. Fine, I'll do it. I know you can hold your own and all that, but I want you to be safe, Alma. I mean, I'd hate it if... Nightcap? Hell yeah. Well, as long as he's happy. Come on, seriously. Did you trip or something? teach it my name. Or maybe you don't expect to keep me around long enough to bother, is that it? I, uh, didn't know it was that important to you, Orson. What can I say? My bad. I've been using the safe house for years. Right. right. You and Sean. Bet the house knew his name 
Okay, I guess I could change it into... Welcome, Alma and Sean, too. <laughs> How's that? Mm, fuck me. Or maybe second Sean. That has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Or Sean Light. <laughs> you know what, I'll think of some more while I go and brush my teeth. Fine. I'm gonna hit the shower. You do that, Orson. days from now? I've got no idea what the mission is or who my teammates are. Like, all this secrecy is starting to get on my nerves. You know the boss. Belt and suspenders kind of guy. Well, I don't. Neither do you. That's kind of my, uh, that's kind of my point. You call me old-fashioned, but like I say, uh, I like to know who I'm risking my life for. You know why? The rest are details. It's easy for you to say. At least you're in the loop. I take orders just like you. In fact, the boss deliberately keeps me out of the loop. I don't even know who the other cells are. Compartmentalization is key. Yeah, I guess. But that's Sean, dude. out of their mourning period. But today, Monumental there. Records announced yeah, a new tight. record released by Tim Robson. Watch. And this just Stick in. Max. In downtown London, a man has allegedly plummeted to his death from the headquarters of Dynasty Global, the world's largest internet retailer. While the identity is unconfirmed, several eyewitness tweets claim that the deceased is none other than Rupert Pierce, Dynasty's founder and CEO. We will keep you updated as this story develops. I am Pam Kingsley, GNN News. Well, that's that. Smoke on the balcony? Yeah, sure. How about a scotch? No, I just brush my teeth. Oh, well, suit yourself. I'm having one before bed then. Good for the blood flow. That reminds me, I need you to do something. Okay, what's the gig? It's a cakewalk, really. I just need you and the boys to pick up a shipment in Brussels three days from now. A truckload of cutting-edge Kronstadt Industries military hardware. Drones and shit. You'll get a kick out of it, I promise. Well, shit, the Noxes really are defecting. High-level Providence stooges like them? That's a real feather in your cap. So why aren't you the one doing the honors? See, there's just a teensy possibility that it could be a trap. And if it is, well, I'm too important to risk. Wow. Don't start. No, no, no I get it. Everyone's expendable, but some are more expendable than others. Is that it? I wouldn't put it on a t-shirt, but, well, yeah. In a nutshell. Fine, I'll do it. I know you can hold your own and all that, but I want you to be safe, Alma. I mean, I'd hate it if... Jesus, chilly out here. Hey, any sign of Mac? No, man. The one on the right side about to take a peek down the road. Mac, go on. Nice cap? Hell yeah. Oh, well, as long as he's happy.
that Alma has one out of an expense account. How much? Wow. No need. I'm dog tired. The second I close my eyes, I'll be dead to the world. Night second show. Shut up. No need. I'm dog tired. The second I close my eyes, I'll be dead to the world. Night second, Sean. Shut up. Off the property. The Mercs have discovered your boat, 47. They're on high alert, combing the beach for intruders. Proceed with caution. Them unnoticed. 
I suggest you cause a distraction, 47, and make it a loud one. client has given us carte blanche. Hunt down the militia by any means necessary. A week ago, Providence was a threat. How did you swing the board? The board are practical people, 47. A blank check is hard to turn down. Besides, the Shadow Client's war on Providence is causing a global panic. Someone will need to stop the militia. Might as well be us. And the man on the train? told them about his offer. Taking a contract for personal gain is against ICA regulations. Sodas would have been proud. Is that a sense of humor, 47? 
Whatever next? Crying at the movies? Why are you doing this? I know what it's like to have everything taken from you. He claims to know about your past. Your childhood, your memories, everything Ortmeier stole from you. And you trust him? About as far as I can throw him. But this is our best lead in 20 years. I say it's time we break a few rules.